Now the wearable market these days, especially when you consider smartwatches, has really stepped its game up, especially in terms of making their smartwatches look like real watches. But like I've said on multiple occasions in the past, I always thought that wearables should own their own form factors. And today, I got a look at a new product that just might be doing that in a great way. It's Joshua Gar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And today, I'm here to bring you information about the announcement of the Wove Band by Polyera. Now I do want to make one thing actually clear real quick. Um, you are going to see this particular video in which I will explain Polyera and their new Wove Band, which is a brand new take on wearable technology. Uh, and I have some pieces of uh, tech in front of me, uh, some examples that lead up to what hopefully will be the product. Now the product that you are going to see in only pictures today and in a follow-up video later this week is so pre-production that they're not even calling an alpha phase. This is such an early production unit that this is only going to be considered 0.1 stage. Uh, and there will be more information on that in a little bit. But without any further ado, here are the couple of pictures I'm allowed to show, at least for now, on today's embargo of the Wove Band. Now, as you can see here, the Wove Band is of a flexible display. A picture there showed it at its full retracted state and then clamped together into the way that you're supposed to be wearing it. The other thing you won't be seeing is this watch actually worn by somebody because that is a moment that Polyera, the company, wants to save for each individual person so they can keep that experience uh, as personal as possible. But the Wove Band is born from Polyera's near decade experience of creating flexible technology. And I have a piece of it right here, actually. This, which looks like just a simple piece of plastic, is actually uh, a sheet of real circuits. And these circuits are not only uh, able to be used in actual electronics, but they are as flexible as a piece of plastic can possibly be. Now that is uh, really the crux of what Polyera is trying to do, not only with wearables, but what they've been trying to do for a long, long time. And now they, have, they are bringing this technology to displays. Now here is a mock-up of displays. These actually become part of the full-on displays that then are made into these particular sheets. Now it's, uh, it's very interesting to note that these sheets don't necessarily have to be of this size. The actual displays that are being created on these sheets that are then constructed into the real displays uh, can be of different sizes. So when you do end up seeing the picture and the video later this week of the Wove Band, keep in mind, uh, as they told me, that there are going to be versions of it that will be able to cater to different wrist sizes, even different genders, because it's something that they can actually cater on the fly and based upon their own manufacturing process. But what ends up happening is you have this. This is a actual display. Now the only reason why it looks like a printed piece of paper inside of a piece of uh, sheet of plastic is because this is the last image that their version of e-paper had when it was firing on an actual display, on an actual device. And as you can see here, the actual display is fully flexible. And this is exactly the kind of display that they want to bring in the Wove Band. As you're going to see in a few assets that I have here, you're going to be seeing on uh, their website, which should be opening today, uh, the website shows the examples in renders of what the Wove Band is going to bring to the table. Not only is this a flexible display, it is a very large display, and behind it is an Android iteration that has been customized into the Wove OS. Now, there are going to be applications, or what they call compositions, because this entire thing can be a huge canvas for a artist or a developer in which they can create uh, experiences on here which will house a number of elements. It could be a large picture like this or you can head on over to a different composition that shows information. For example, uh, you have directions on the top for if you're using uh, the Maps application. Uh, you also have music controls, the time, and even a news feed on the bottom. And what's great about uh, the Wove Band concept is that it actually creates areas by which you can prioritize your information. 
Now the Wolf Band itself, as you're going to see in the video later this week when we are allowed to release footage of it, uh, it latches onto itself and just sort of goes around the wrist. There are extenders if you need them, uh, and you can just easily deploy the detachment whenever you need to take it off. But it can also be used as a display that just sort of sits on your desk. Because it is a e-paper display, it has the guise of just being part of your workspace. So you can have a lot of information in landscape mode and it can double as a clock that will go for days on end because the battery life should be very good on a wearable that does not use typical displays. Now today's announcements are not just about the device itself, but also about getting the process started. The 0.1 phase of the Wove Band is asking for developers, artists, pretty much anybody that wants to create on the Wove Band, uh, their own applications, and they can apply to, to have their own device in order to start developing for it. And with the journey that the Wolf Band can have over the next however so many months until the actual final production release units become available, uh, they will be able to create all of the experiences that will one day make it onto your wrist. We're incredibly excited about this honestly innovative take on smartwatches and wearables, and we hope that the Wolf Band will continue to grow, especially a little bit faster because we can't wait to get these watches on our wrists. Uh, but you can also see all of the other pictures that I took of not only the tech that I showed you in this video, but of the band itself, because pictures were okay, but video was not made available until much later. Keep it tuned to Android Authority for that and even more. Once the video of the Wolf Band that I have filmed is able to be released, you can click me right now to go straight to that video once it is available. And after all that, to make sure you drop us some likes on our video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already to get even more about this great smartwatch that we're just getting our first look of, and then head on over to androidauthority.com for even more because we are your source for all things Android.